Uh, we had a third um, speaker uh, that is not able to join the call, but uh, we're going to play a video. Uh, his name is uh, Leo Mascarenas, uh, is the division chief of the Pediatric Hematology Oncology and director of the Sarcoma Forum um, from uh, within the Children Oncology Group. So um, because we don't have so much time, I really, I really just want to thank you again, both of you, for joining the call today. Uh, and I want to ask my colleagues to play the video so we can finish the session on time. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. My name is Leo Mascrenas, and I'm the Division Chief and Director of Pediatric Hematology and Oncology at Cedars-Sinai Guerin Children's and the Medical Director of the Sarcoma Program at Cedars-Sinai Cancer in Los Angeles, California. I would like to thank Onco Daily for the invitation and the opportunity to speak on International Childhood Cancer Day about the benefits of a sarcoma program that is not restricted by age limits. As you may know, sarcomas are cancers that arise in the bones and soft tissues of the body and are rare in both the pediatric and adult populations. In pediatrics, they comprise less than 10% of all cancers diagnosed, compared to less than 1% of all cancers in adults. Some sarcomas are more common in children, while others are more common in adults, with a considerable overlap, especially in the adolescent and young adult age groups. There are over 100 sarcoma subtypes that can have varied presentations, but more importantly, behave very differently clinically based on biology. Further, many sarcomas have known molecular oncologic fusions or drivers, some of which that can be targeted therapeutically. Therefore, it is important that sarcoma treatment be dictated by biology or subtype rather than whether the patient is being treated by a pediatric oncologist at a children's hospital or a medical oncologist at a center that primarily cares for adults. Sarcoma care is truly the model of multidisciplinary care in oncology. It is critical to have an expert multidisciplinary team comprised of pediatric and medical oncologists, surgical and orthopedic oncologists with expertise in both adults and children, reconstruction surgeons, radiation oncologists with experience treating adults and children, radiologists with expertise in musculoskeletal and solid organ radiology, pathologists with expertise in sarcoma, molecular and cancer geneticists, genetic counselors, expert nurses with experience in complex care management, physical and occupational therapists, and clinical social workers and psychologists. It is very important for sarcoma patients to have access to fertility preservation. It is essential that this expert multidisciplinary team meet regularly to discuss the management and progress of their sarcoma patients for them to have the best possible outcomes. The approach to diagnosis and management of sarcoma patients is similar in both children and adults. Further, the supportive care and survivorship needs of pediatric and adult patients are generally similar with specific needs that straddle the age cutoff as exemplified by the AYA population. There is mounting evidence to suggest that young adult patients treated with pediatric type regimens for certain sarcomas such as Ewing sarcoma and Rhabdomyosarcoma, sarcoma have improved survival outcomes when compared to historical controls. This is similar to the experience reported in young adults diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia who have better outcomes when treated on treatment regimens used in pediatrics. There is also evidence to suggest that patients with certain fusion-driven sarcomas, such as TREC fusion sarcomas, fare better when treated with selective TREC inhibitors rather than chemotherapy. This is true for both children and adults. Therefore, patients with sarcoma across the age spectrum will likely meaningfully benefit from being treated in a single program with a team of committed expert physicians and healthcare providers who are familiar with the care that they need from diagnosis to treatment, supportive care and survivorship, and including research to improve outcomes. 
clinical trials should include children early in development, taking into consideration possible differences in pharmacokinetics and the potential expected toxicities related to growth and development, as well as drug formulation needs that are relevant to very young children. More recently, the lower age limit for participation in many adult sarcoma trials has been dropped to include the teenage years, and the upper age limit on certain pediatric sarcoma trials has been increased to include adults up to age 50 years. This allows for broader access to new drugs and may potentially improve accrual times that will result in obtaining clinical trial results expeditiously. There is an ongoing effort within certain research organizations, such as Sarcoma Alliance for Research to Collaboration, the Sarc Consortium, to include children on their clinical trials, and the pediatric clinical trial cooperative groups, such as the Children's Oncology Group and the European Pediatric Sarcoma Study Group, to include young adults on their sarcoma trials. At Cedar sinai Cancer and Guerin Children's, we have established a sarcoma program that cares for sarcoma patients of all ages with the required expertise to offer and deliver the best multidisciplinary care, provide patients with access to clinical trials, and opportunities to participate in research with the goal of achieving the best possible outcomes for our patients. We live in the exciting times where there are new therapies being developed every day, including new drugs that specifically target cancer cells or harness the immune system to fight cancer, bringing hope to our patients. While outcomes for certain sarcomas have improved in recent years, there is still much work to be done, especially to improve the outcomes for patients with metastatic sarcomas and relapsed sarcomas, as well as for survivors who suffer from long-term treatment effects. This can only be done through providing access to expert care, improving participation in clinical trials, and supporting research at all levels. This is a good reminder for us all on International Childhood Cancer Day and every day of each other. Thank you and have a good day.